are you using enhanced measurement events? I am always surprised when I start working with a new client's GA4 and someone, usually their IT team or web developers have shut off all the enhanced measurement events for some reason. I don't know why. This is probably why GA4 like made page views grayed out so you couldn't shut it off because someone would try. But the reality is enhanced measurement is one of GA4's best features. It tracks important stuff like file downloads, form fills, video plays right out of the gate. This is stuff we had to set up manually before in Google Tag Manager. It saves so much more time when it comes to setting up events. I run into properties with these shut off way more than I should. The only time we shut these off is when we've created our own versions of these events that we're sending to GA4 via Google Tag Manager. So in this screenshot, for example, you can see that form interactions are shut off and that's because for this property, we have created our own form submit event and that's why. And why would we create our own form submit event? The reason for that is because form interactions can be a little oversensitive, let's say. I can find it records even when a form isn't successfully submitted. So always when I'm testing a GA4 property, I just submit a totally blank form and then I see if the form submit event was recorded even though the form wasn't actually submitted. If you want an easy way to check this, there's a great plugin called Omnibug that you can use that will show you in your developer tools for Chrome or that's available for a number of different platforms and it will show you if a GA4 event was firing. And so I just submit a totally blank form, which shouldn't work. If you see a form submit event, then you know that the form submit is over firing. This happens a lot of what are called Ajax forms. And those are forms where say the page doesn't reload when the form is submitted. And the reason why this happens is because an Ajax form communicates with the server and says, hey, here's the data. Did we do this right? And the server says, no, go back and try again. But the actual client, which is the web browser, doesn't know whether or not the form is successfully submitted at all. It just knows that a form thing happened. And so Google Tag Manager also knows that a form thing happened and GA4 knows a form thing happened, but they don't know if it was successful or not. So that's why you need those extra checks on some web sites, usually more modern type form builders like Gravity Forms, for example, if you use Ajax Gravity Forms for WordPress, you definitely need to turn off the default form submit event. Otherwise, it will record when blank forms are submitted.